Every single time I pick up the bass, there's three things that I do. And the reason for these three things is because the mechanical elements of our technique are really what help us execute on the bass, whether it be grooves or bass lines or runs or solos or whatever it is. If we haven't got the mechanical element of our technique dialed in, it's gonna have a detrimental effect on our output as a bass player. So in this video, I'm gonna show you the three specific exercises that I use each and every time I pick up the bass. And if you do this, you'll get bass shredded. So before we get into the lesson today, I just wanna give you a shout and let you know that there's a PDF download that you can grab below in the description and that will link to all of the exercises I do today so you can see them in tab and notation in great detail. So grab that. And also I'm gonna to link to this video as well, which is another video on YouTube, which is just sort of like a C major drone type of thing. Um, and we're gonna be using that to play along with the exercises, just to give our exercises a little bit of context. So it's not just mechanical, it's musical too. Okay, so let's jump into the lesson. Now, the first thing I want to just help you understand is that there are only a few different types of lines that you can actually execute on the bass. The first style of line is a linear line, a linear line, okay? So I'm just gonna use a C major scale here and I'm gonna play a linear line. Okay, that is a linear line. One note comes after the other. Now there's also arpeggiated lines, okay? So we could take a C major seven arpeggio and play that. That's an arpeggiated line. And then there are lines that I call sequenced intervals, okay? So it's an interval, so we could take a C major scale like this, okay? And we could play in intervals of thirds, okay, like this. Or we could play in fourths. Or fifths. Or sixths, or sevens. Okay, and they're the three types of lines that you can play. Everything you play is going to be an amalgamation of one of those three types of lines. Okay, linear lines, arpeggiated lines and sequenced intervals. So that means every time you pick up the bass, you should be running exercises that help you execute each of those styles of lines, right? Here's the key thing. Each of those three different types of lines, those three categories, okay, can be split into two subcategories, okay? So let's take a C major scale, right? We can play a C major scale ascending. We can also play it descending. Now, from a mechanical standpoint, these movements of the plucking hand are actually very different. So it's gonna serve you to actually practice your ascending lines and your descending lines as kind of two separate things to begin with and then bring them together. Let's look at a great exercise to help you do that. All I'm gonna do is take a C major scale and I'm just gonna play ascending, but I'm gonna do it through the modes of the major scale. Remember to grab the PDF, it's gonna have all of this information in for you, okay? And to make it more musical, I'm just gonna put this, this uh, track on here. I'm gonna to link to it in the description. It's C major, it's just a pad, right? It's gonna sound like this. It's gonna sound mellow. So, C major. Ascending. So that's your C major or C Ionian, right? And D Dorian. Phrygian, F Lydian, G Mixolydian, A Aeolian, B Locrian, and 
minor and C major. Now that was all ascending. So you can do that at any speed. Make sure you get the patterns down, okay? And then do it at any speed you want, okay? It could be just like this. You can also, on the flip side, what I was talking about before, you can play it descending as well, okay? So all of the patterns just going down instead of up. Here we go. So C major, D Dorian, E Phrygian, F Lydian, uh, G Mixolydian, A Aeolian, B Locrian, and then C major. So that's your linear lines, okay? And you're just practicing your linear lines going ascending and then descending. Now, once you've done that, you can go up one, down the other. It's gonna sound like this. So I'm, you know, I'm bringing the two different styles together. Now let's look at the arpeggiated lines, okay? First of all, we're gonna play the arpeggios within the C major scale. And again, PDF for all the tab notations down below. First we've got C major, D minor, E minor, F major, G dominant, A minor, B minor 7 flat 5 and then C major. Now, can we do that descending? Yes, we can. D minor, E minor, F major, G dominant, A minor, B minor 7 flat 5, C major. So we've done the linear lines ascending, then descending, then we've combined. Then we've done the arpeggiated lines. We've done them ascending, then we've done them descending. Can we do them combined? Absolutely we can, okay? So we can go up the C major, down the D minor, up the E minor, down the F major, up the G dominant, down the A minor, up the B minor seven flat five, down the C major. We speed it up, it's gonna sound like this. Okay. The third category is the intervals, okay? So let's try ascending using thirds. So again, we're gonna use a C major scale broken thirds, this is also called. Make sure you download the PDF, it's got all of these patterns in. Okay, let's do it up, up an octave. That was ascending, okay. Can we do that descending? Can we do it in fourths? Okay, we could do that down here. That's fourths ascending. Can we do it descending? You can do that with fifths. You can do it with sixths. Sevenths, you can do the same, ascending. You can do them descending as well. Now the cool thing here is if you've got all of these types of lines, you can actually take the C major scale and you can just mix all of these different ideas together and it will give you great sounding solos just using the C major scale. So then I went from broken intervals into a little bit of linear again. Linear, sixths, intervals. Linear, 
fifths descending. Linear. Arpeggiated. Fourths. Arpeggio. Linear. So what I want you to do is take this stuff and it's going to take you a little while just to get, you know, get get your mind round sort of like you got the C major scale, okay? I'm going you need to learn the C major scale, right? You need to know the arpeggios within the C major scale and you need to know the modes within the C major scale. Then you can run this stuff every single time you pick up the bass. Every single time to in some way shape or form, you need to be running these types of exercises. So you're making sure that you're, you know, um, shedding your linear lines, you're shedding your arpeggiated lines, and you're shedding your broken intervals because this, the combination of all of them different elements, it's everything that you can ever play on the bass is going to be derived from one of those specific types of lines, okay? So grab your bass, get that download from down below and get doing this every single time you pick up the bass. Obviously, if you've enjoyed this video and enjoyed the mellow vibes, Make sure that you click the button down below, the like button, subscribe to the channel and all of that good stuff. And go to scottsbassessons.com as well. Check out what we do with the number one online bass school so you guys can study with the best bass players on the planet from the comfort of your own home. And you can try out the entire thing, take it for a test drive for 14 days, totally free, okay? I'll put a link down below so you can grab the PDF and a 14 day free trial to Scott's Bass Lessons. So with that said, and the mellowness, take it easy. I'll see you in the shed.